Hello YouTube, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing of uh, the Dalibor Farney uh, Nixie 2 Clock. I've been waiting for it for a while now and it's finally come in, just wanted to share with you guys. Um, my first impression is this is great, great packaging. He's got a custom made box for it and um, we basically have to open the top screws to, to get to the clock. If you can come in and zoom on here, uh, he's got one of these uh, shock watches, which unfortunately has been broken, but I think that uh, the box is in good condition. It doesn't seem like it was mishandled. Probably this got uh, hit somewhere on the side. Anyway, let's just get on with this. Here's the cover, the top, and let's zoom in here. Look how nicely this has been packaged. Look at that. Okay, hold that. So, he sent me instructions on how to unbox this. And here we go. Here is the clock. First time I'm seeing it in person, of course. And this is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. He has um, sealed everything with electric tape. So let me zoom in. See how he's done everything here. A lot of reflection here. We'll get the glass off and we'll get in a little closer. Oh, this is very nice. It's not leaving any sticky residues on the on the glass. Do this quickly but also carefully. And one more on this side. Okay. glass looks pretty good, there's no, no problems with it, there's just, yeah, it's from the cutting of the glass. Okay, let's, actually, let's flip this around. I love the surface finish on this. So I had asked him if he can do a surface finish that would that would complement 
um, an iMac so I can have it on the desk next to the iMac and then he started looking into surface treatments for the metals and this is what he came up with. I initially wanted to go with the silver but the black looked so good and it matches the PC keyboard so nicely. I mean they're both matted. The board itself and the anodization of the, the casing and the, the sockets here. Wow, and these tubes are much bigger than they look um, in the pictures. have close-up photos and other things for you guys. Hopefully, if not in this video, but in the next. Okay, so great packaging board. This is great. The, he's done some gold plating on the screws. And of course, he left some spaces for uh, colon tubes that he's going to be working on. But look at the surface finish on this. It's super smooth. And it's very similar to the board, almost identical. This looks so much better in person than in video here. Okay. You guys are wondering, this is 23 by about five and a quarter inches. This itself is 18 inches by about three inches. And the height of these tubes is about four and a quarter inches. Wow, this is gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to flip this around because I've been wondering how he's done this here. So the way he did it is I think um, you can uh, put the power supply to right there. Um, if you just get the board from him and the uh, tubes. But uh, the way he has it here is I think he's got um, the positive and the negative connections through one of these I think. Um, and you can actually plug in the clock from here. So as you look beneath the clock, there are zero cables. Yeah. And this, I really don't know what this is, probably for the brightness or settings, but let's see. Okay, he's got a very high quality, very nicely made, um, adapter here or plug okay let's do this without putting the glass over it yet and I'm going to plug this into a UPS just so we have clean electricity here we go around. Wow. Okay. Now, I've watched a ton of these videos on YouTube, but I'll tell you things that I see here that you can't really see in, in the pictures or in the videos. There is, of course, the color is 
like this nice orangish color but there's also like this blue kind of glow around um, the numbers. He's got um, an interface where you can um, uh, sync this with your Wi-Fi and then connect through an online portal and make all the adjustments to it. It just looks so nice. Uh, I was considering other boards and other um, stands but I think this one is everything is from him he's done all the electricals everything is to the specs of the uh, uh, of the tubes so you're, we're safe from that and of course no wires which is a plus there's some LED lights down here I guess we'll figure that out later I'm trying to see if I can make any Okay, of course not. I have to follow the instructions here. Hold this. Okay, and he's got a nice cutout here on the glass. Get the glass, the cutout for the adapter. He used a special glass where you don't see any blue tinge in the glass. It's super white. Adapt this over here very carefully. I'm just, uh, just getting a little too. Almost like a, like a crack here. It's the only thing right there. There is a, there is a. Looks like a. It's not the tape. It's not the glue. There's a kind of a crack right there. I'm sure it's probably from the shipping, but overall, I mean, it's not so easy to to send this over. Um, he gold anodized all the all the screws uh, so that they don't oxidize, and you have. Um, also on the PCP board. All the gold is, is uh, protected from the elements. Uh, the reason why I got this clock is so that, you know, it blends in nicely with any kind of decor that you have. It's just super gorgeous. Um, if you can get it, I think this would be the way to go. And he is very, very detail oriented and I mean, he's got a video on how he's made these tubes. You can see how how detail oriented he is, and it's, it's just uh, really a piece of art. Can't wait for the column tubes. This is very nice. Okay, guys. Um, I'll try and set this up and maybe I'll, I'll put a video on how to do that. Hope you like it.